Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, this is Tony the Hoofer uh, doing some more Football Manager 16 um, new guide, new player guide uh, tutorial, new player tutorial. Um, last time we were here, we finished up in the back room. We've um, made offers for five new scouts and two new physios. We've also made offers on a couple of new coaches to uh, help increase these stats a little bit. Um, we've got the potential to do more, but we'll uh, see how our negotiations go. We'll see if we get the coaches that we asked for and um, that we offered contracts to, I should say, and um, see how that pans out and then maybe try and fill this bar a little bit better. If we can get the best coaches and the best scouts, then we're in a very good place. Um, we'll be looking good in the long run, and that's very much the picture with Liverpool. You can't wander straight in and expect to win uh, instantly. Um, other teams with deeper pockets are able to you're able to do that with um, if you're if you do want to win um, in your first season uh, of the game good teams are very much the teams at the top of the of the leagues already um, Barcelona and Real Madrid are great in Spain <clears throat> Manchester City uh, and Chelsea are great in in um, in England um, PSG in France, of course. I think uh, Italy's a little bit more up for grabs with a bunch of teams vying for it. Germany uh, choose... Uh, what's their name? Not Dortmund, the other one. Bayern Munich. Um, but they're... So they're definitely good. They're good places to begin learning. Um, but the expectations are also a little bit higher because you're using such big budgets and you're able to buy the best players in the world straight away. Um, already built, then the um, you're expected to perform. If you underperform, there's problems. So it's a little bit more forgiving. If you choose a team who's a little bit off the pace, like Liverpool, um, they'll they're less likely to fire you if you underperform uh, a little bit. But we'll um, have a look at the expectations again soon. I think we had a look at expectations uh, earlier. So we'll continue on now. Um, training is. Uh, we've already set our team training and we'll leave that for the moment um, there's individual training that we do need to look at and we've already had a look at our coaches uh, another interesting area another important area to look at is your um, junior coaches so your under 18s and under 21 coaches are managed in a different area they're in the uh, respective team view and under training and coaches a lot of the coaches your your fitness coaches and your goalkeeping coaches um, work across the board across the club so um, we'll do what we've done in the main screen and um, examine the we've got this chap here who's an under 18 coach who's very good at working with youngsters so we'll keep him and we'll keep him on the uh, on the uh, books because I don't imagine any of our other fitness coaches are great at working with the youth no they're actually quite dire at working with the youth so it does make sense to have him there he'll work he'll work his back up um, across uh, um, across both sides strength and aerobic uh, we can see that I'm doing some coaching at the junior level as well. Um, because I've got five stars, I can manage more than one area. So I'm slightly tempted to do four stars across two areas. Michael Beal is good at ball control, so maybe I'll go at defending. Mike Garrity is good at tactics. What does he look like there? No. Uh, he's an under 21s coach though so I expect that he'll have yeah he's good at working with youngsters so he can work across the board for us in this area and there are only three and a half coaches that's fine I'm not too concerned about the youth training not being superb the under 18s training being superb um, it's the under 21s where the training really is super important so we'll um, 
have a look there. Uh, we'll have a look at the under 21s and be a little bit more finicky there. Uh, again, we see that Neil Edwards is uh, good with at working with youngsters. So any young goalkeepers that we have coming in, will we, he'll be looking after them primarily. Uh, while these guys are te while the first team coaches are showing them how to do, he'll be holding their hand. Um, so that's quite good. We've got uh, all of the training is light, which means that they get uh, the young players get a lot of focus, and that's how we like it. If we have a look at the under 21s set the coaches uh, so that's copied the that's right with the under 21s that copies the um, the training uh, the coach configuration that we use for the seniors so I'm quite happy with that um, when we get our new tactics coach come in he'll uh, fill in and make this four stars and we'll get our new goalkeeping coach come in and he'll make this four stars as well and we should have good coaching for the under 21s. Next stage that we want to move on to is probably scouting. Um, we might skip scouting because that takes quite a long time to set up and explain. We'll do a separate video for that and we'll also look at the uh, transfers that we want to do. We've already examined the um, Oh, actually, that's interesting. So in the transfers area, we see all of the coaches that we've given job offers to as well, um, as well as the transfer that we've got coming up for Joel Mattit. Uh, he comes at the end of the season, I'd expect, yeah. So at the end of the season, Joel Mattit will join up with us, and hopefully um, while he's been over there, he'll get some good training, he'll get some good game time with um, GSK. Uh, what's there? Uh, I'm certain they've got a different name. GSK. Goals Kirken. I don't know, that's fine. Uh, yes, so uh, hopefully he'll get some games with them and um, come back to us a better player than he might have been sitting on the bench with us. Hopefully they don't make any strange um, training choices. I've seen that done before and a player's um, development just knows dives because he spends a year as a defender trying to learn how to be a right winger we can but cross our fingers um the club area there's nothing important in here we've already made a request of the board um i don't think we'll get away with any others we only scraped by the request for um a new an extra uh, physio so i don't think we'll um look to expand that um what we will do is we'll have a look at our current scouting staff because I've got a feeling we've got some terrible sorry our scouting staff because I've got the feeling we've got some terrible scouts in here and we may want to do some more scout searching um, if I go to the if we go to the overall and we go all oh, I'll do this can I add columns in here yes I can perfect so what we'll do is we'll have a look at uh, 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 coaching uh, sorry at mental and potential and at mental and at ability we've got some truly awful co uh, scouts in here um, those two in particular are dire they'll give us terrible results that will be very misleading and we may end up buying uh, bad players because of their reports. So we're going to I'm going to remove these two. Both offer mutual terminations to them. Yep, they're agreeing to that. Good stuff. And we'll go back and have a look. Um, so we've got some great coaches on the way. All of the rest of these are middling, but they're good enough for a primary um, scout. We will use these guys to do the basic scouting and then we'll use the new good guys that we've done to do the more advanced scouting. Um, the, the further scouting of the guys that these, the, the players that these reasonable scouts find for us. So we've gotten rid of two. Uh, we've got five on the way, but we've now got seven spots. 
So we need to find another couple of scouts. We'll go back to our staff search. We'll go back to mental and potential. We'll look for 18. They must be at least 18 level. Um, here's a 72 year old scout who's 1870, uh, 1816. That's fine. Uh, we can pay more than Southampton by some margin. Uh, we'll have to pay 26,000 pounds, but that's fine. He's happy. Oh, uh, we raised it enough that he signed instantly. Yeah, okay. So um, he'll be joining us straight away. But being 72, he won't stay around for long. Um, so that's something we should bear in mind. Uh, the director of football, he was on... Oh no, he's only on two and a half. How... He wouldn't mind being a scout, and he's 14, 18. Let's see if we can offer him a scouting position. He's interested at £8,000. No, thank you, Mike. Uh, we're not paying that much for you. Dave Parnaby, we've already offered a contract to. Uh, Bertie Voigt, we've already offered a contract to. Steve Walsh, we already offered a contract to. Uh, we're back to... Did we offer him a uh, contract? I think we did. Yes, we did. Uh, what about Bojan Kirkic? He was really expensive, wasn't he? Contract offer? No, it's £10,000 for a scout. is ridiculous. Especially a not particularly talented one. Oops. Uh, let's push his wage up to 3.6. We might need to go a bit higher than that. Hopefully that'll be enough. Curses. Hopefully that will be it. Oh, one more tick. 4.5. Nope. Bummer. That's a shame. I thought we were close there. Uh, what about... We've already offered them... Did we offer Rodolfo Burrell? He wanted a massive contract there, didn't he? He wasn't at all interested in being a scout, I imagine. Slight interest. No, that's not worth it. We'll drop it down to 17. We'll say between... 17 and 17. Yeah. That doesn't work that way. Uh, Antonio Alvarez. What we'll do this time is we'll look for um, a scout who's young. There we go. Young scouts are likely to are likely to improve. Actually, that one there, 39. He's already their chief scout. He's 16, 16. No, we want to. 17, 16, ideally. Director of football. Let's see what he'll... So, wow, no, not that much. Chavez. Uh, he's an under-19s coach. 17, 17, yeah, we should be able to get this guy for a reasonable amount of money. As a scout. Oh, he's got no interest in it at all. Okay. Um, scout, scout. Did we try and get this guy before? I think we did. And he wanted an insane amount of money, didn't he? Oh, no, he wanted to be chief scout. He's got no interest in being a normal scout. We'll bump his wage up. No, okay. He was the walk away chap. Um, Frustrating that I can't go 17 only. Is it most 17? Does that give us 17? No, it doesn't. Uh, can I add a column in? Oh, wow. Okay. So we will, we will, we will, we will uh, add in coaching mental potential there we go Nicholas Salerno nope uh, let's sort by age and then by oh it doesn't work that way uh, where's the youngest of the 17 there we go oh he's 16 damn he's 30 though 
and he's yeah, 13, 16 for a 30 year old is good but not great um, oh well, no harm that'll do us uh, contract, sign a contract with us mate for that much, for that many years and sign it very good that's our second coach. Uh, so now we've got, must respond, we'll walk away from that one. And um, now we've got our full complement of scouts. Uh, sorry, that was the page I wanted to be on. Now we've got our full complement of seven new scouts coming in. Uh, well, at least offers made for them. Two new coaches, uh, two new coaches, and two new physios. I think this video has probably gone long enough. Um, Next time we will look at scouting. We're going to look for our right back. Um, so this will be the first actual um, actual transfer, uh, delving into transfer window. So uh, we'll be back shortly and um, we'll hopefully see you there.